subscribe to the Urban Tango Nights YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification button, obviously to like this video as well, or dislike the video if you dislike <laughs> it. Um, Give us something. <laughs> yeah. uh, and if you're watching on Facebook, please like the Urban Tango Nights Facebook page, or, and obviously like the video there as well and share it with your friends. So today we looked at Planeos and Front Ochos, and we were using this in our underlying theme of Carl Zetas. So we built up some solo uh, technique for doing these. So one of the solo exercises we looked at was taking a side step to the side, sinking the weight down, letting the leg trail, twisting our chest, and then just using the momentum of the, or the angular torque built up, or just torque built up through the chest to give us some angular movement. And then adding that into the forward ocho. So if you want to know more about forward ochos, please check out a tutorial series one in our YouTube playlists. So we start off with a side step to the left, twisting our chest to the right to put the follower through, change, closing our feet together as a leader and changing weight. Follower hasn't changed her weight, taking a side step to the left, pivoting the chest uh, to, um, around so the follower pivots to 180 degrees, taking another side step. And we can do as many of these as we want to, pivoting on either side. We can take smaller side steps, larger side steps, we can pivot her more or pivot her less. We can also change height, so I step to the side, if I sink down, the follower goes into this position and then when we twist our chest now, because she's sunk down and she doesn't want to close her feet together because I'll form an ugly line, she will sweep that foot around, I come up as I close the feet together, she will come in together and this is the planeo. If we leave her down, she may make contact with the uh, leader's foot this is basically a parada, and you step over in a passada. So these are all very common tango steps, or moves, or combinations, whatever you want to call them, um, which you'll see all the time. What we did then was, because the followers got this angular momentum, and the foot is down, if we continue that for her, as the leader, by stepping backwards and around, she will pivot around, and this is a calcita, and we can do this on either side. The only difference is, on this side, I tend to walk forward around. I could change it to walking backwards, but just the way that the embrace works and the angles involved with it being asymmetric uh, means that walking forward is a bit nicer. Uh, to end this for the follower, because she has this inertia, angular inertia, when the uh, leader stops, the follower almost continues slightly when we do in this calcita, so if I just stop here, it's a bit of an abrupt end. However, if I continue the follower's momentum by lifting my arm and just turning her through, we end up with a little saltada, and then we can walk out. And that's a nice uh, conservation of momentum idea. It's a very scientific terms. <laughs> uh, and then finally, we looked at what happens when the leader is put into a calcita or pushes himself through a calcita. And this is a nice way of doing heroes. So, this, I took a side step to the side, sunk my weight down so my foot is out, twisting my chest to the left, just as I would for a hero. The follower is stepping around. I can keep my chest twisted to the left, so the follower keeps moving around in the usual hero pattern. And I can just let my leg trail. We talked about a few decorations that I need to be do, changing that leg position. And it's all about technique of how the foot is positioned and where the heel is and things like that. And if you want more details about that, please come to the classes. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video. As we say, please subscribe. Thank you, everyone who subscribed to our channels. It's uh, really great to see all your support. We hope to see you again very soon, whether that be in person or more likely in a virtual event. There's plenty of those going on, which we go to, or in next Monday's class. Thank you for watching this Urban Tango Nights recap. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the logo. You can find more of our class summaries down here and other videos of us dancing tango over here. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, 
Twitter and Meta. Links are in the description below. And you can also subscribe to our newsletter using the link below.